These tunnels are being built in segments like this one right here. It goes up six feet by eight inches in width and then 15 feet going this way in length. And today we got a look at how it's all fitting together. This animation from VDOT shows what the inside of the new HRBT will look like one day. But in order to get there, crews are hard at work to build what will become the tunnels. This is a, a huge effort. Jim Utterback is the HRBT Expansion Project Director for VDOT. He was there as we got a tour today of the Technopref precast plant in Cape Charles. The tunnels are being made in concrete segments. Nine segments make a ring, and more than 2,000 rings will make up the new tunnels. We got a look inside at what two of the rings look like when stacked on top of each other. One of the things we wanted to show is the progress that's being made on the on the project. So far, about 10% of their work is complete. Eventually, a boring machine will set the rings into place to create the underwater tunnels. This is a different process than other bridge tunnels in Hampton Roads, where larger pieces were already built and then lowered into the water. This way, the machine will go ring by ring to build the tunnels. This is being done primarily to minimize the impact on the federal channel. So the, you will have very little, if no, impact to the shipping channel and also the channel that the Navy uses for all the warships coming in and out of Hampton Roads. The process to build the segments is precise and involves making sure the concrete is good quality. Steel fiber is added to the mix, and each segment has a rebar cage to reinforce them. Each day, between two shifts, the crews make 54 segments or six rings. These tunnels are, um, they are challenging. The hard, messy work is meant to one day benefit us all. The $3.8 billion expansion project will add four travel lanes and is expected to be completed in 2025. This will help traffic immensely. For now, an immense effort to get all of this built. In Cape Charles, Brendan Ponton, News 3.